Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Active Directory, and this is a cloud-based identity and access management service to manage users, sign-ins, and access to AD-related resources. So Azure Active Directory is Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management service, which helps you, your employees sign in and access resources. So that could be external resources like Microsoft Office 365, Azure Portal, SaaS applications, or internal resources. So applications within your internal networking or access to workstations on-premise. And you can use Azure AD to implement single sign-on. So you can see that Azure AD is basically like the, the, the one solution to log into everything. And uh, we actually use it at Exam Pro, we use it with Microsoft Teams or uh, you know, for the Exam Pro, Pro platform, our mid panel is tied to it. So when we want to log into the mid panel with credentials, we have it there. Uh, we use it with AWS to log into there and we use it to log into Azure. So it has a lot of flexibility. And if you're building out applications for enterprises, they're likely using AD. And so this is the reason why everybody adopts it or needs to understand it. So it's a service I really, really do want you to understand and know. Azure Active Directory comes in four editions. We have the free tier, and by the way, each uh, 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 tier that goes up has the features before it, but uh, free has MFA, SSO, basic security, usage reports, and user management. Then you have the Office 365 apps, which is uh, revolves around if you're using that suite. So you have company branding, SLA, two sync between on-premise and cloud, and then the premium tiers, which really comes into enterprise or, or, or on-premise hybrid architecture. So hybrid architectures, advanced group access, uh, conditional access, premium two, identity pr protection and identity governance. Only thing I don't like about Azure AD is that uh, you can't really create your uh, custom access controls unless you have premium one or premium two, but that's just how they do it. So there you go.